hi you guys it's thursday morning um it's 6 2 my flight is by 9 30 a.m so i'm gonna leave now hoping i get to the airport by like 6 30 almost 7 and that gives me like three hours okay now that gives me like two and a half hours yeah that was what i wanted i finished packing my bag it's still pretty light I packed all my skincare. I did an extra dress because last night I found this restaurant I could go to. I made a reservation and everything, so I might be going to a little cute restaurant tonight. Um, just checking in on you guys. We're gonna start the vlog here. And look at my hair. Um, I didn't find the no glue, so I just painted my nails. But yeah, this is what my hair is giving. Like I said before, I did it myself. It's not that good, but I'm not mad about it at all. At all. Just either this or wear my wig. And if you don't know, I don't like wigs. Like, they make me feel uncomfortable. A wig, traveling for two days, interview, beach. I just feel like it's going to be too much for me. I'm going to be overstimulated wearing that wig because wigs just make me feel uncomfortable for some reason. But yeah, it's actually really hot in here. And I'm not going to put on my AC. I'm gonna leave now. The last thing I wanted to tell you guys was that I'm not going with a taxi to the airport. I'm taking a public transportation to the airport and when I'm coming back, which is one of the reasons why I was like, yeah, I should just travel with a bag. Because if I was going with luggages, then I'd have to take a taxi. I don't carry luggages through the public transportation. But yeah, I'm going to take a public van because like, why is taking a taxi, the cheapest taxi I know to go to the airport is $50. But then public transportation is $3. Like, why? really it's that cheap and you guys are making me pay 50 dollars taxi there's even a taxi guy that that takes 175 dollars to go and come back from the airport and even the cheapest one is 100 dollars like why would i spend that much money why so yeah when i found out that i can take a public transportation for free ec like that is the only way i'm gonna be going to the airport unless i'm going for like a long trip and i need to take like luggage or whatever if you haven't watched the prep video yeah go and watch that because i did a lot of like explanation and stuff in the prep video just in case there's anything i talk about and you're like i don't really understand yes you don't understand because you don't watch the prep video so go watch the prep video and then you can come back here and also in the prep video i also talked about like documents i needed for my us visa and also the things you can um the things you need as a nigerian traveling from nigeria to barbados like you don't need visa and stuff so i also gave you guys some tips so go watch that video thank you i'm going to leave now oh i didn't even show you guys my fit okay so my glasses fanny pack shirt i got it from shein it's like a large graphic tee this cargo pants i also got it from shein but i cut it i mentioned that in one of my videos like I cut it so it's like jorts but cargo pants and my trainers that is actually the only shoe i'm traveling with apart from my <laughs> bathroom slippers this is the only shoe i'm traveling with. so even when i'm wearing my dress tonight i'm going to be wearing it with a converse like i'm a converse girl i don't mind i don't even have any heels but i would, I would have loved to take another shoe to just to have an option but i'm only going with the bag so i cannot afford that luxury so yeah even when i'm going to the beach i'm going to wear my converse everywhere i'm going converse yeah and i'm not going with my laptop i already mentioned that before i cannot be putting on that load in the same place as my laptop no story that's a new laptop it's so stressful planning a trip alone like i need this trip to be successful to boost my ego and also so that my parents can feel more comfortable letting me travel alone because last time i went to barbados they were like ah ah because i was going with another girl they felt a lot more comfortable even though they did not know her but like when i was going to the uk it was like ah ah but at the same time like i also came here by myself i had people to pick me up not like a family not anybody that my parents knew just like my nanny did <laughs> <laughs> that were strangers to us but at least they were like okay I, I have somebody there to receive me when i went to the uk and my sister there to receive me this one feels like solo solo like my first solo trip my first solo vacation because yes i've traveled by myself since i was 17 or since like whatever but like i always kind of had people to receive me but like here my parents don't know anybody i'm traveling with nobody to receive me nothing nothing and i have planned this trip to the t so i feel like everything needs to go well for my ego and for my parents peace of mind so you guys i was dropped at a gap 
But when I came down, I'm like, this does not look like the airport's gap. And so I walked up, I walked down, I was like, here is the airport gap. But I can't find anything else that looks like the airport gap. So I came back to where I was dropped and now I'm walking down. And I think this is actually the airport gap. Like they actually dropped me at the airport gap. I don't know why I was tripping initially. It's just confusing. Like I'm so confused. Bro. Bro. When I come with the van, I always tell them, like, drop me at the airport gap. And immediately I can recognize that this is the airport gap. But I feel like this guy drops me. Oh, is that like a little fun? Anyways, I feel like this guy dropped me at a different place, but it is linked to the airport somehow. And I'm just trying to find that link. It's like 6.50 a.m. The ride took like 20 minutes. You know, I still have time. I still have time. I'm just like, where did this guy drop me? Oh, I can see the airport. Oh, he was meant to drop me further down. So now I'm going to, oh, he dropped me at the gap where the shipping office is. So where I came to, to pick up my phone. That's where he dropped me. Yeah, I'll even show you guys the office. Thank God that I've been here to the shipping office before. That like orange building. <laughs> yeah, that orange building with the blue ceiling is the shipping office. So I just have to go down and then it's a long walk to the airport. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was already freaking out. So the airport is like down there, the green and blue building. You can see the green building with the blue ceiling is the airport. Or like at least the beginning of the airport from this angle. I'm already at the airport. The only annoying thing is that the departure side of building is at the other end. Like it's completely at the other end, which makes sense. So when people are coming in, they can just go for their flight. But I decided to come from the back. So now I have to walk all the way to the other end of the airport. It was actually not that far. I got there with like less than five minutes. I was just exaggerating. But look at how sweaty my face looks. Damn. Sweating. There's literally no one here apart from like um officials or workers. So I'm just chilling and I'm vibing and I'm enjoying vlogging in public.
I know I haven't updated you guys much. Um, maybe I'll update you guys when I get to Sky Mall. I just left Starbucks. I enjoyed my drink. I had a chai latte. It was so good. Um, and I edited my prep vlog for the trip. I basically did like a rough edit, so I just have to like go through it once more to add like effects and sounds and stuff. And I'll do that. But well, I want to go to um, Sky Mall because number one AC, number two Wi-Fi. For some reason, there's no Wi-Fi at Starbucks, and I also need to pee because yeah, I'm gonna do that there. Find somewhere to sit, finish editing my video, and then I walk around. But it's already like almost 11:30, and my taxi, David. That's his name, anyways. He's coming back by 2 p.m. to pick me up so I still have like two and a half hours I think that's perfect time I'm way too old to be excited to be at the toy store but like I literally don't care this looks so fun it's like I never grew up with this kind of toys maybe I should get myself one for my 19th birthday why are these ones like an I literally cannot get anything in this store. I feel like I am healing my inner child just by going through like, look at this cooking set. And you guys know how much I love cooking, like actual, <laughs> actual food, but like, this is so cute. I literally feel like crying because like, my inner child is so excited. Like I feel so excited. I could start dancing in the middle of this store. This is so cute. I cannot wait to have nieces and nephews. Oh my god. Wow, I need to leave because I'm going to start tearing up. Hi guys, I just got to the Airbnb. My phone is about to die. I think it's like on 7% and that's why I haven't been vlogging for a while now. It's like past 3 p.m. It's not that Airbnb, you guys. It's actually a hotel-ish. It looks like an uncompleted hotel. It's not bad at all. It's just, it's just an, an hotel that this guy's as an airbnb first of all it is what it is i'm going to show you guys a little room tour i'm only going to be here for one night why well, i feel like it's incomplete because some things look like new and modern like these curtains look nice and then some other things i'm like why does this look old or not fixed like the stove definitely looks like it doesn't work let me just start with the things i have issues with already before i do a tour number one there is no microwave I'm pretty sure I saw a microwave on the website before I booked it and that was why I came with noodles so I have Indomie to have for lunch because so I'm going out for dinner and now I don't have a microwave to cook the Indomie so 
I'm going to ask about that because the stove definitely doesn't work. Number two, there are no towels. Checked into an Airbnb and hotel in Barbados before. They always have towels. Like any hotel you go to or Airbnb, there are certain things that they should have. They should have a microwave. It's like common sense. There should be towels for your guests. It's like common sense. And that was why I, did, I didn't bring my towel because also I'm also trying to save space. Third thing is that I actually forgot that in Barbados they, they, they use a different kind of outlet. And the outlet they have will not charge my phone. Like my charger will not fit into the outlet. So I need to ask them if there's like an extension box or something. My taxi guy's name is David. So I'm going to be referring to him as David because he's such a nice person. And he's like probably my parents' age a little bit older. So he gives like such dad vibes. I love it. We're talking about like the Bible. He's like a Christian. We're talking about so many things. Like there's so many things I want to even chat with you guys about. But um that is my complaints for now. And then let me give you guys a tour. Can you guys see the beach is just down there? Like you literally just walked out. If I let me even walk. The beach is literally just down there. But anyways, this is room for the like a seat. So at least I can sit outside. And enjoy the view, I guess. Anyways, I'm coming. And there are just like big curtains, so you can like close that off for privacy and also just open it up to have some like nice sunlight. Oh, there we have a table, a bed. I haven't sat on this bed. It seems soft. I love the three pillows. Oh, look at towels. Look at me. There are towels on the bed. Oops, sorry. I knew that you have like towels are a necessity. I think that I saw that. So yeah, the bed is pretty laid. White shit. I love it. I love how everything is white. This is a content creator's dream. Not like blue, pink walls. There's a little dining area. And there is a smart TV that is even already logged into somebody's Netflix. My own personal Netflix has expired, so I'm going to be watching some Netflix for sure. Anyways, sitting area, AC, which was on when I came here. Fridge, the fridge does work. There's some like kitchen appliances and whatever. This looks like a basic kitchen in the Caribbean. But this shit doesn't even move. Like, it feels so stiff. Like, someone brought their grandma's old um, stove. And there's like a countertop here with two benches. Like I actually really vibe with this place. Just want to chill, sort out everything I need to sort out, charge my phone for a while, watch some Netflix, go to the beach, watch the sunset, come back, do my makeup, go out for dinner, come back, take my makeup off and have a good night's nice sleep. I'm going to binge watch something on Netflix real quick and I'm so serious about it. I've been talking for like the past five minutes and I just realized that I wasn't recording. Anyways, this is the next room. There's like a door that separates it. And I'm talking about how this closet is literally bigger than my closet back in St. Vincent. And I don't understand why it's closet, toilet, and bathroom in the same room. I'm so confused. It's giving walk-in closet. But then this, this is so big. This is so big for a bathroom and a toilet. Like, this is actually crazy big. Like, if this wasn't here, let's say there's like a bathtub. I don't know. This is just so big. This is just so much space. It's crazy to me. Toilet, basic, there's tissue paper, whatever. This is a nice mirror. I can take some mirror pics here. There's like soap there. And I was talking about how the shower is literally so tiny and look is scary. Um but i'm gonna be fine there are things i like about this and there are things i do not like but overall it's not bad i think i mentioned that i had a reservation for like a place for dinner tonight and they literally sent me a meal a few hours ago saying that they had to cancel because the restaurant will be able to open today and i was like damn i packed an, an extra dress and everything i was like oh i'm going to glam up tonight i was excited i have free netflix i have a restaurant nearby i have the beach nearby it takes three very amazing boxes so yeah even though like the design of the place i have some green flags and red flags white walls a creator's dream like nice mirror nice space ac because it's so hot in barbados 
like i can't i can't complain like this is this is amazing this is amazing yay so she gave me a charger head and she's going to bring over a microwave as she should as she should the lighting here is kind of bad well let me just because i closed the curtains i'm currently doing my makeup it's like almost five since i'm getting my doing my makeup now maybe i should like gist you guys you guys know i live on another island like i live in st vincent but like i keep on telling everybody that i cares for my opinion that like i prefer barbados to st vincent any day anytime and i don't even know why the hell i'm not schooling in barbados one of the things that i noticed the differences between barbados and st vincent is that the people here like the locals here are a lot more friendly to internationals like when i was in st vincent i heard a lot of like i got a lot of like discrimination in the sense that like there was literally a time this was well, this was the second apartment i was living in and i would walk from my house to the bus stop take a bus to school and that was like a 15 20 minute walk and i would do that every morning and so there was a time that i was walking to school right and i kind of like took this shortcut i guess which was like passing through somebody's neighborhood and obviously it was like what like 6 30 a.m i'm like i'm dressed nice obviously because like i like dressing relatively nice to school um i have a school bag a heavy school bag i have my coffee in my hand because then i used to make like coffee and like go with coffee go with like an iced coffee and a cup and then i'll just put the cup in my school bag because by the time i get to school like i'm already doing the coffee because I, I used to leave my house so early anyway so i have coffee in my hand i'm dressed relatively nice i have school bag it's like 6 30 a.m like obviously they know that i'm an international student because like why else do i have all of that going on for me and so this guy was outside also i mean i guess he was just chilling outside sitting outside whatever i don't care but then he stops me and he's like why are you doing no he stops me and initially he's like where are you from because like obviously you know that i'm not from here and i'm like nigeria because they're not literally new to the island like i'm very proud of where i'm from even up to now somebody asked me where i'm from i'm not even going to say nigeria i just walk away because i'm very proud to be nigerian like if you're nigerian or you know nigerians you know that we are very proud of where we come from so yeah i'm very proud to be nigerian like i'm, I'm never going to be shy about to be shy about that or quiet about that anyways so i'm like yeah i'm from nigeria and then i was literally new so i guess i was more naive and i thought that oh, it was probably just going to be a quick short nice conversation and then he's like and go back to nigeria then like it was so like go back to nigeria what are you doing in my country if i decided and i was walking away obviously but i walked past him and he started getting heated like he started speaking like so loud and aggressive to the point that i was scared that he was literally going to like stand up and push me or something because like go back to nigeria then what are you doing in my country blah 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 blah, blah. And i'm like first of all if i had a choice i would not be there like i don't even like your country like what are you saying but like it's not that the same it's a bad place it's just the bad experiences that i've had that just makes me not like the people there and not like the country in itself but like i prefer nigeria to savings at one million percent there's so many things that nigeria has that it, the country doesn't have and that's okay but when you keep on talking down to my country because like, my country is blah 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 because of it's in africa and your country is in north america like bro what are you even saying versus the people here from what i've experienced and the two things i want to say is that number one people in saint vincent are so comfortable to be in saint vincent the average vincentian man and vincentian woman hasn't left saint vincent or if they leave saint vincent is to go to another caribbean island but like they haven't left the caribbean they haven't left saint vincent that is the average vincentian man and woman from people that i have conversed with they haven't left they don't want to leave they don't care about leaving oh no i want to stay here forever this place is amazing bruh the average man and woman in barbados has left barbados they have either worked in the u.s schooled there visited the like the average barbadian bajan man or woman has left the country that is my first point is that I feel like they are so close minded. I don't know what they think of Africa. I don't know what they think of blah blah blah. But they are so close minded that it's almost like 
you just look stupid because if you've actually been to nigeria you'd have so much respect for the country or if you've been outside st vincent maybe to the u.s and you've met other nigerians and africans like you'd have so much respect for the country and for the continent as a whole than this like, shitty things that you keep on saying about the country that you've never stepped into like as if you know it like it's so annoying because of, i i grew up in nigeria i've been in cbc for almost two years i have experienced both countries and i am the one that has enough knowledge to speak about it not you that you have been in cbc all your life you're going beard you are by 6 a.m to smoke weed and then you think you think you can speak shit about my country shut up I'm sorry I'm starting to get heated, but like, this is something that I don't really talk about, but it's, it really irks me, and I'm just counting on my days to leave St. Vincent at this point, because I'm like, so many bad experiences, bro, so many bad experiences. People in St. Vincent are so close-minded, because they don't, they don't have any exposure or whatever. People in Barbados have more exposure. That's number one. Number two, I just found out from David that, um studying you are going to the university in barbados is free for citizens what he told me that like you can literally become a bar a doctor in barbados if you are from barbados for free no tuition government covers tuition government covers all of that what st vincent they don't have universities they have community colleges that is like a level you know if you're going to the uk do like a level for a year two years that is like their kind of education and the universities that they have is like medical universities that um like basically white people build like americans or whatever built it's not like from it's not like a um, university that their government built so it's not free for citizens like obviously citizens are going to have to pay tuition but i think they give them a discount off but like it was made by an internet it was built by an international person so it's not free for their citizens and i was just like what what they tell me that if i was from barbados like i could have access to free bro do you know how much my parents are paying how to have access to free education like so that just means that like the average barbados man or woman has a university degree because they have free university. obviously if your parents uh, -uh if your parents um know that university is free they'll, they'll tell you to go there now so like the average Barbados man or woman is educated, which is a very big thing. Cause even when you're like talking with them, they're so fluent. They're, they speak so well, so educated compared to even Vincentian. And I'm just like, cause one thing I realized after like getting out of discriminatory comments, even in same sense, it's just that ninety percent of the people that say this shit about Africa or Nigeria, they literally talk like a if they never finish secondary school. Like they look like as if they even like they just shut up from primary school. Like they they literally look and speak uneducated. So like I do, I do, can't even argue with them because like you don't have any substance for me to argue with compared to a Barbados man or woman that I know that if I'm having a conversation with this person, this person most likely has an a university this degree. This person has most likely left the country and left the Caribbean and has gotten international experience. So like yes, yeah, send me talk with if so I can even learn from you. Not talking with someone that just out of primary school and is shouting, and hey, go back to your country. I know your country that has book around. Like bro, keep quiet. Who hold your mouth and listen. So that even though you don't go to school and you don't travel, you will learn. Not talking like as if you know everything. So annoying and so irritating. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to share like major difference between the people and why I think, two reasons why I think that difference is there. I look like a ghost, but um, another thing I want to quickly say is that I think that Jamaica is the Nigeria of the Caribbean, which is why like that's the other Caribbean country that I'm so excited to like, travel to one day. I feel like Barbados and um, Jamaica will be like the Caribbean countries I like switch between when I'm older and I'm traveling. But like yeah, because like when it comes to West Africa, so people will be like the first country that comes to their mind is Nigeria, and when it comes to like the Caribbean, the first country that comes to people's mind is Jamaica. Like Caribbean cuisine, Jamaica, sports, Jamaica, entertainment, Jamaica, tourism, Jamaica. Like talking about Africa, music, Nigeria, entertainment, Hollywood, Nigeria, food, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. Jamaica, 
so yeah i feel like they're very similar yeah bye and it's actually getting dark so I'm going to go to take pictures now I actually haven't vlogged much since I got here sorry about that like the lighting in that room is just not good look at how much better it is when I came here um, I, I promise I'm going to vlog better tomorrow but yeah I just took some pictures I think they came out okay it was really hard taking pictures by myself because there's literally nowhere to put my phone like I found a sofa to put my phone so the angle was like low and I don't know anyways yeah I have some money with me I'm going to get some food there are two places they mentioned to me they mentioned to me a restaurant and then they mentioned to me like a more local food vibe and I think I want to go for the local food vibe because restaurants usually take a lot longer for the food to be ready so yeah and at the local food side I think the lady mentioned to me that today's Thursday, so they usually have tacos, and I haven't had tacos in a while. So, okay, get some tacos, get some fries. I feel like that sounds like a good night. Yeah, and then when I come back, I'll take up this makeup, watch some Netflix, probably post the pictures I took today, and yeah. going to film i'm actually going to come here to film because the difference is crazy no look at this it looks like i'm filming with a samsung and look at this lighting is everything you have a beautiful face but the lighting is very important and gorgeous gorgeous anyway i just came out from getting my food now i see what my mom said by coming back before it gets dark because it was a little bit dark outside but time i was coming back and i was like is this where i was taken like i hope oh my god there's a car coming i hope that's i can up like i was i was anxious but um i go home safely barbados is a relatively safe island it's even safer than st vincent so everything is fine um i got beef tacos chicken wings fries and macaroni pie i believe i did not use google maps so i used my knowledge of when david was bringing us here and i used that to find my way to go and find my way to come back like i'm so street smart i forget i used to think i wasn't street smart street smart back in nigeria because i've never really left my house back in nigeria so i used to be like oh my god no i'm not street smart like oh but i'm actually very street smart i think it just comes from me wanting to be independent like even when i was in the uk by day three i was already finding my, myself everywhere people were like i'm not here i'm just sister no three places i would be when i leave the house by myself and i'm not with my sister i'll be at the gym because i would take my sister's um, wristband <laughs> And, and be able to enter the gym and use any equipment with her password and her wristband and everything like i said like i literally stole her account not stole but like i use her account without paying for my membership or whatever i was always at the gym starbucks or primark like i could not i could not be in the house 24 7 my sister is busy working she can't take me anywhere no wahala i'm at the gym primark or Starbucks like I just love being independent and being able to like leave without needing anybody 
like just being able to do things on my own i crave it so much so i was so proud of myself that i found my way there without google maps anything i was able to remember and go where i wanted to go so yeah and i also wanted to talk about like the mall i know i couldn't really vlog because my battery was getting low and i was scared of my battery dying but i wanted to say that the last time i was in Barbados, was because i was with someone else i didn't really like I couldn't really um, explore the more like I wanted to. I always say to many times on my channel or like to people I'm talking to that like because I left Nigeria at 17 and my parents are like relatively strict. Um I couldn't really I didn't really leave my house when I was in Nigeria. But one place my parents allowed me to go to with my friends was the mall. Especially Ikeja City Mall, ICM. I can't remember, I cannot count how many times I've been to that mall. My friends from church, friends from school, like ICM is the place to be. So going to St. Vincent and not seeing any malls was like, uh, huh? Like I don't know where else to go to. Like mall is like my comfort space because that's like the only place pretty much I was allowed to go to. Like when I was in Nigeria. So when I came here in February and I saw that they had a mall, I was so excited to like explore the mall and just walk around or whatever. But the person I was with was like, you know, as excited I guess. So we only stayed there for like five minutes and left. So I was really happy that this time around I actually got to stay back and walk around like the toy store. <sighs> My birthday is next month, you guys. If you want to make me the happiest person alive, get me a plushie or anything on my birthday wish list but a plushie a soft animal a soft toy that i can just cuddle get me a barbie when you movie came out i was like i don't know if i'm going to watch it like i never had a barbie growing up but that's just my inner child hurting if you get me a barbie if you get 19 year old mommy a barbie she's gonna sob and appreciate it <laughs> see yeah i feel like i was having my inner child in there i love walking into the stores there were a lot of clothing stores and stuff. It was, it was fun. I love it. I love it. Window shopping. Window shopping in Nigeria. Who has money to be shopping in ShopRite? Huh? Or just window shopping. That was such an experience for all of us. And I was happy I was able to relieve that again. So yeah, I'm going to eat for my food gets cold. Let's try some food. I'm going to try some fries. I actually don't have any spoon very much, so I don't know how I'm going to eat the macaroni pie. Let me try the tacos. It looks like a lot. I haven't had tacos in a while. Oh my god. That tastes good. I like tissue paper. Oh wow. to try the wings wow literally surprised by how good the tacos taste oh my god oh my god this tastes so good oh my god Why does this taste so good? Wow. And this is like a full plate. Everything was like 15 USD. Wow. Oh jeez, I just woke up. I just slept in my dress. I have, like, everywhere is kind of in the mess. I don't know if you can see. Because I did my makeup yesterday and I kind of like scattered stuff everywhere. I'm going to, I have like one hour before my taxi comes. So I'm going to like quickly tidy up, get ready, and I want to make noodles um, to eat this morning. I don't know how long that interview is gonna take and how long I'm going to be there. 
so it's like 7 30 if you come in by 8 30 we'll get there by like 9 and my interview is for 9 30 so i have to stack it so maybe and make sure i don't leave anything behind so yeah i i have to be so quick because the taxi is already waiting for me outside this is my outfit for today trainers jeans this top i got from primark but like i hardly ever wear and i need to start wearing it often now because i love it and you can see like a red underneath because i have my bathing suit underneath because after my interview this morning i'm going to go to the beach so that's it i'm like packing up my stuff and yeah uh hi guys <laughs> i know i said i was going to vlog by that today but no i don't know why i forgot that when you go for this visa stuff and passport stuff like they usually tell you to switch off your phone so when i got there it was even raining i was like under the rain i was just like asking for direction the first thing they told me switch off your phone and they watched me switch it off so i could not do anything i got there by nine i don't know what time i, I went for my appointment because of my phone was switched off but when i got out and i said the time it was 11 so that was two hours it was a long process sitting down waiting queuing up standing up it was just a lot from one place to another to another place to another one check-in to another at some point i was like oh is this the interview but no there's another check-in it's just yeah it was a lot um everybody that did their u.s visa for my school told me that they either got like accepted there or rejected there but i got neither like i'm still very confused because it seems like they were going to like at the final place after my interview it seemed like i got the visa but then she was like oh wait when are you, when are you going back to st vincent and i was like oh i'm going back tonight and then she returned what she wanted to give me <clears throat> and then <coughs> gave me like a different yellow paper i was like oh i'm sorry you have been temporarily denied um you have to send you have to send your passport and your documents to me for you for us to um for your visa to be approved and i'm like i guess that means i got accepted because people that got denied they got told there that oh no you're denied for blah 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 reason but like i wasn't told that because if they want me to send back my passport then that means it's for them to stamp my visa on it like i, I hope this is good news because i don't know how else to feel um because no nothing else would make sense i think like if i was denied and tell me i'm denied because it's a lot of money for me to like dhl my document and my passport here i'm take it back it's about 200 dollars or something well, I'm like if I was denied or that just told me I was denied right I guess so and she was also like yeah please like know that you cannot use this visa for your clerkship because I have to do clinical clerkships next year and she's like yeah you cannot use this visa for that so I don't even know bro I don't even know at this point I'm just like I don't know because now there's more things for me to do I have to do even more printing out and then send all my documents to them so like i thought i was over the whole stress of us visa but apparently i am not but i, st I still have like one more week of holidays so i'm going to try and figure that out during my last week um yeah I, other than that after that i got um shepherd this is a it's a popular fast food brand in barbados like everywhere i go i always see a branch there and some branches like the one i went to even have like playground for kids which i think is a good idea so yeah i was like oh let me try out this chef like i always see everywhere and then david was like yeah i should try the rotis like, it's, it's so good there and i've had rotis before in saint vincent they're nothing special to me but this one here was really good it was like warm it didn't feel like it came from a fast food restaurant it felt like it came from like uh like it was homemade like my mom or my auntie maybe like it was just warm like as i ate and i swallowed it i could feel the warmness like just traveling down my body but yeah i wasn't able to change so that my swimwear at the visa place obviously because i had to drop my bag in like a locker 
I had to drop everything, only your document and you was allowed to pass through so I couldn't do any of that. There might be a place here though for me to change so I'm going to look around. So I have like three more hours before I have to go to the airport. So I'm just gonna enjoy the beach. I'm already selling fruits here. I'm also going to get some nice fruits. I don't know, I think I have like five Barbados dollars like left with me. And I'm just going to get some fruits and enjoy the rest of my stay here. That's all. I literally don't have anything else to tell you. That is all. I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but like from the way I was speaking in the last clip, I wasn't like happy. Like I wasn't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just because of I've been told by everybody that like at the point of the interview, they were told if they got the visa or not. But for my case, it was different. And that like left space for worrying and wondering and guessing. That just like ruined my mood for the rest of the day, which is not a good thing but unfortunately that happened and so i didn't really enjoy the rest of the day i didn't feel like vlogging anymore because usually when i'm like not feeling the best i don't vlog but if i vlog when i'm not feeling the best like the video is going to be about me not feeling the best you get but this is already like a fun video a vacation video so like i don't want to like vlog and i'm not like feeling okay and i'm like wondering and thinking and worried like yeah so i didn't really like film anything i got my fruits i ate my fruit i basically just laid there for the whole of the three hours i walked around a little bit i didn't get into the water um i was trying not to sleep off because the weather was so like cool the wind was blowing it felt so good but i was just not in the mood anymore to vlog and i also didn't vlog um traveling back to St. Vincent because like, I even cried a little bit on the plane because I was just so worried I'm like my parents have spent so much money on this whole thing for me to get like rejected and like I have plans to be in the US next year I even I was even thinking of going to the US this year for Christmas holiday like this just ruins my plans it's like waste of money like I was just like overthinking everything and so I couldn't really enjoy the rest of my vlog so sorry about that but i feel like the video is long enough this is like my longest video on my channel so far and i think it's still a pretty good video so don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it comment subscribe obviously and i know that i have a lot of like vincentian like subscribers i'm sorry about what i said about your country i'm sorry you guys but like i just i just had to speak my truth because that is my own experience but if you are watching my video and you're subscribed to my channel that means you're not discriminatory so i love you and thank you um i love people generally but like if you're going to like treat me some type of way or talk about my country some type of way then i'm going to reciprocate that energy i'm sorry so yeah thanks for watching this video see you next week sunday